We're back again, 138. I think this is a slam dunk across the top there. We have Zach Elvin. He's on a mission. He was on our mat report this week. Uh, it just seems focused. I have him going out to the semifinals where he'll face Alan Arns. I think Zach Elvin dominates that match, gets to the finals, and is in search of his second uh, district title. What do you, who do you got, Johnny T? I also have Zach Elvin getting all the way out to the final. I really don't see any hiccups. I actually have Cody Hart from Solanco getting out to the semifinal. I think he's really wrestling well right now. This kid has a lot of potential. He's a little bit of a wild card during the season, but I like the way he's wrestling right now, especially how he wrestled in sectionals. I have him getting out to the semifinal to face Zach Elvin. Now we go down to the bottom half of the draw. You see Chambersburg's David Rump, the senior, did really well at some of those individual tournaments that escaped the rock back uh, at the end of December, right before Christmas at Beast of the East, doing really well. I actually have him facing Dylan Chatterton from Central York with a record of 28 and 0. Rump Chatterton, I know Chatterton's 28-0, but I really think Rump has been seasoned by some of the, uh, the tournaments he's been in. I'm going to have Rump in a tough one getting past Chatterton in the semifinal to get to the final against Zach Elvin. But again, when it comes down to the final, I really like Zach Elvin to walk away with the district title. I'm going to go against you a little bit here. David Rump, one tough customer, no doubt. I'm liking Dylan, Dylan Chatterton, though. In the semifinals, he gets past Kyle Lee, he gets gets through uh, probably Lee Castle here. I like Chatterton to beat Rump in the semifinals, but I like Zach Elvin to, uh, to defeat Chatterton and win his second straight district title.